Hi, I'm Mark Sutherland from Sutherland Presses. We're here in Atlanta at the Fabtech Metal Forum Show in 2014. In the booth, we've had five presses here, getting a very good response. And part of that is due to our iPress control, which the iPress is something that we've come up with that is ideal for end users that are doing either secondary single stroke operations or completely automated operations with coil feeds and transfer systems. So this is the iPress basic control, which we're gonna go through with you, but we also are launching an iPress AB Plus Allen Bradley platform, which has a larger 10 inch screen, uh, more programmable cams, more die protection circuits, and that's an optional feature that you can get on any of our presses. So basically the iPress control, as you can see, this is the main run screen. You've got a digital stroke position indicator uh, showing your main motor is in the forward direction, which you've got the option through a key selector to have reverse forward or flywheel brake. Showing you the angle of display, the strokes per minute that it's running, and the mode of operations that it's in in this case, continuous. Again, on the main run screen, you've got a preset batch counter that'll run up to the desired amount of parts and shut itself off, and a brake stopping time in milliseconds for safety for the press operator. Another unique feature about the iPress control is you've got programmability with the press in operation or on the fly. So as I'll show you here, you can go into the cam screen and this, these fields are nameable, alphanumeric touchpad. You can turn the cam on or off during the stroke. You can set various degrees. of the on or off angle. You've got a monitor screen, which is a fault monitor screen that shows you uh, time and date stamp reoccurring faults so you can do troubleshooting. You've got a parameter screen, which is password protected. We'll come back to that. Counter screens. You've got two counters that you can use for batch counters, automation counters. You've got scrap cutter counters down below so you can optimize the size of the scrap that you want to go into the bin. One of the other cool features that is unique to iPress is the control is multilingual. And to date, the iPress is the only multilingual control on the market. It's been a huge success for us. Uh, so when you go to Spanish, next, all the control screens are now in Spanish. And it's as simple as going back, switching from English to Spanish. Other languages are Japanese as an option, German, French, Italian, uh, Portuguese for the Brazil market. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate here I'm gonna stop this in the top stop mode. You'll see it'll stop at the top of the stroke. I'm now gonna to go to the inch mode with the selector switch. And in inch, no matter if you hold the buttons or not, it will stop at the top of the stroke. In the single stroke mode, which it'll display here, single stroke. If you release after bottom dead center at 180 degrees, it will return to the top automatically with the buttons released. In single stroke mode on the way down to the pinch point area, it will act as if it's an inch and stop when you release the button. In order to get continuous mode, you've got a few steps Continuous with the key selector here, an arming lighted button, 
and you have to hold the run buttons until the lighted button goes out to get full continuous mode. We also have a few different stopping features. You've got an emergency stop button here at the iPress pendant. And in the T-stand, you have a yellow top stop button and a ram stop button. And the, the difference between the ram stop and the emergency stop button is the emergency stop button will stop all functions, motors, and you'll have to start the press over. Press control reset, motor start, motor will come back up to speed and that'll allow you to go back into operation. With the ram stop button, unlike the emergency stop, it will stop the slide motion but leave all motors running so you can restart the operation. So again, the iPress is uh, a unique, cool, affordable press control. The next level up is the Allen Bradley platform, as I mentioned, larger screen, more cams, more die protection, and that can be quoted as an option. So when you're looking at a new press, be sure to check out iPress. Thank you.